example of what happens when you merge two rival railroad companies what? together. What was that? Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and in today's video, we are back with Rails Unlimited on Roblox, and there have been a few updates. I'm joined by Rare Preserver, so yeah guys, let's get into the video, and I think he's actually coming in just a moment here. Uh, yep, there he is. He is in, um, an Amrail train. Line. Yep, wow. Alright guys, let's get into it. So basically, the, Am the um, Amtrak Metroliner that just passed is something that Amtrak ordered back in the 70s, and actually, Railroad's ordered them before Amtrak, like Penn Central, but they had a lot of problems, so yeah, they didn't really last long in passenger service. Alright, so we have two different trains, not really different trains, they're just kind of deliveries, and we have the Urban Liner and the Amrail Urban Liner, so let's go ahead and use the Amrail Urban Liner because, well, I mean, it looks more interesting. All right, so here we have the Amrail Urban Liner, and this is actually really nice. The detailing on it is really well done. I like the kind of bars on it that make it look like it's got this 3D effect, even though it really isn't. And yeah, it's nice. I like it. So yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and get this out of Pinewood. We can see Railroad just running by there. Hello, Railroad. And um, yeah, we're going to see what we can do with it. One thing I just noticed is that the top middle... Um, light there actually is blinking now it doesn't look like it has any ditch lights which is to be expected with a train like this so yeah well the pennsylvania railroad ordered these and they were carried over in the penn central merger and all us rail fans know how that merger went it went straight downhill because uh pennsylvania railroad and new york central were rival companies and uh, if you don't consolidate your business practices, it can go downhill very, very quickly. As Jesse will probably now demonstrate here in Pinewood. Pinewood? I'm in Orion. Orion, thank you. I'm going insane, evidently. All right. Well, we didn't need you to say that to figure that one out. But, um, uh-oh. I, no, well, that's unfortunate. I've stopped too, uh, too far ahead from the station. This can only mean one thing certain death for this locomotive oh no yeah it's done good and badly oh there it goes so there's your merger all right so here we have the penn central urban liner uh locomotive here it is i actually kind of like this livery better it's more simple i like the red on the silver it just kind of matches all right so yeah let's get this out of here and let's try not to derail at orion because everyone does it including me and i think we need to switch it up a little bit now we don't really stop anywhere with these trains we just go ahead and straight on derail them so yeah that's kind of sad so i wonder if you can actually derail this without you know derailing it by manually doing that oh no oranges no all right so i think uh, frontier is a good place to uh all right, we're not gonna, we're not just, we're just not gonna acknowledge that. Um, oh God, we need to derail this quick. Oh gosh. There we go, yes, yes! Wait for me! Good example of what happens when you merge two rival railroad companies what? together. What? What was that? Okay, the engine just- Uh, the top of Canada just trying to just run ludicrous speed to the point where it derailed. Um, yeah, I'm going at Spaceballs ludicrous speed. Yes. By the way, might want to go over here to this crossing real quick. Why? There we go. Good screenshot of the train passing under the signal. Don't mind what's happening right now. This is incredibly normal. <laughs> oh, I'm sure it's very normal. Yes. Oh, oh. I was so close to hitting you, but you, you ran out of the way. By the way. All right, and by the way, the lines there, that's uh, a trademark of the Bud Company. They built a lot of, uh, they built a lot of the streamlined cars. Um, I just want to mention that we are now deboarding passengers currently, so, um, yes. Deboarding you right onto the street. By the way, I'm actually spawning in Brenton right now, um, so basically you'll see me in a second here. Oh, hey, Southern Pacific, all right, nice touch. Thank you. Yeah, I haven't really used this locomotive, so might as well use it now. Oh, by the way, I think that center light there on the top of the sand dome there is um, a Mars light. Oh, yeah. 
if you want to explain what a Mars light is for some of the audience. I've explained it in one video, but basically yeah. it's like a uh, kind of blinking lens, a flashing lens that would have been on the front of these early diesels like this one. You gotta slow down. I do not need to slow down at all. That's your, your breaking railroad protocol. Don't Maybe worry. Not a problem, but let's see how long you last. Uh -oh. Um. So what I've done here is I have simulated a terrible accident. Uh, the um, the engineer and the driver are completely all right, but um, don't the mind what's happening behind engine. them. Oh my gosh! Yeah, the, oh my uh, gosh! Look, yeah. look behind you. Oh hello. Sienna is probably wondering what the hell just happened. Don't worry, it's a mild accident. It'll be cleaned up in. There you go. All right. So it looks like Railroad has a Stevenson's here. You know who it's named for, right? Who? Enlighten me with your knowledge. I think it's named for. Uh... Okay, don't laugh. I'm gonna have to look this up. If you want to follow the train while I do so, you can. But yeah, it's named after George Stevenson, who built the. Uh... Locomotive rocket, which is a British locomotive. What? Well, yeah, and that was the first locomotive that actually had proper cylinders and a properly built boiler. It was the first one, I think, to have a um, a proper tubed boiler to help spread out, spread the heat out evenly for better generation of steam. So, uh, yeah. And if we can find another switch in a minute here, uh, there'll be uh, plenty of steam generated in a minute when this thing goes up in flames. So, uh, all right. Yeah, well, I don't good. Like There's a switch uh, just ahead of you, so you're in luck. <laughs> wow! Wow! Oh God! Um... <laughs> it's fine. The engine can be. Salvaged. It's perfectly no. fine. No, the engine could not be salvaged. It's upside down. Alright guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and a comment, and I'll see y'all next time, guys. Goodbye.